What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds. And if you got 60 seconds, you can learn how to build amazing reports from SharePoint. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. And we're back. And first thing I want to do is say thank you for watching. I appreciate you. So let's get on with it. All right, first thing you're going to do is going to go to that command bar and you're going to find export. Click export, drop down goes to Excel, click Excel. It's going to ask you to save a file. Go ahead and save that file. Click on it. It's going to open up and you're going to have to enable. Boom. There you go. But wait a minute. What if that's not enough? What if you need more columns? Then go back to SharePoint, enable the columns that you need. Click the column headers, go show hide, select, deselect, move around things, drag and drop, whatever you got to do. Make that view look the way you want it to look and then go repeat the first couple of steps and boom there you go now you got awesome reports all right we did that we did that all right we got 24 seconds left high fiving here we go let's get right to the actual rundown again we'll start by showing you how to just get whatever you see into excel export export to excel you're gonna have to download a file save the file that's cool click it, it's gonna open up and you have to enable otherwise it's not gonna work so enable um, make sure you trust the content alright and there you go it basically just exports it to a table and what do you get in this table you get all of your columns that we're showing in the view we've got uh, all of these we've got um, drop downs so we can sort filter all that jazz so we can you know filter show me just 1982 okay boom this gets you everything you need my suggestion is get rid of this it's just the uh, URL just delete that you may not need the item type either you might if you're dealing with multiple content types this could be helpful but generally speaking go ahead and delete and there you go but wait what if this view doesn't look like what we need it to look like so then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna actually don't save we're gonna go in here and we're going to adjust the view just the way that we want maybe there's a view that already exists in that case you're gonna hit the drop down and you're gonna look for other columns um, other columns you're gonna look for other other um, other views that may look the way you want them to to look but if not then you can create your own in that case, let's say we need to know who created each one of these. Well, I don't really need this column because I want to know who like actually typed in this data, who created this line item. So I'm going to go in here to show hide columns and one of your default columns should be created. We can get created, created by is what I was looking for. And you can drag these around so they go exactly where you want them to go. But don't forget to hit apply if you don't click apply it doesn't like to make the update okay so now you got it looking the way you want it to look go ahead and run through the export again and rinse repeat do this as many times as you need this works for lists it also works for document libraries so there you go if any of this has been helpful please give a like and subscribe we'll see you next time remember SharePoint rocks and so do you Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.